This Jacksonville man pleaded guilty today in a voter registration fraud case. Investigators say he forged signatures on voter registration forms. The supervisor of elections office says it caught the fraud because the forms look suspicious. In News for Jacks reporter Ann Maxwell was in the courtroom this morning. She's joining us now live. Ann? Kent Joy, that defendant Jordan Daniels appeared in court here to, this morning to plead guilty. He then was taken straight to the Duval County Jail where he will serve 10 months followed by 14 months on probation. You're Jordan Daniels? Yes, Your Honor. Legal troubles for Jordan Daniels began last summer when Duval County elections officials noticed a large number of voter registration forms turned in through a third party that seemed suspicious. According to arrest report, signatures didn't match, personal information was wrong, and the forms that normally come in worn looked pristine. An investigation traced the forms to Jordan Daniels and Devin King. Both were arrested last November. Investigators said some of the people they tried to register to vote were dead. Earlier this year, both men were charged again, this time accused of fraudulently signing petitions for constitutional amendments. Today, Daniels pleaded guilty on both counts. Has anyone threatened to coerce you? No, You are entering the pleas because you are effective. In a statement last year, the Duval County Supervisor of Elections, Mike Hogan, said, quote, The discovery of these attempts at fraud shows that the system here in Duval County and all of Florida is secure and trustworthy. Voters can have confidence that their information is secure and will be counted accurately. In addition to Daniels and King, several other people have faced election-related charges in Duval County recently. According to the state attorney's office, Corey Moore is serving a year in jail and Michelle Moore is serving a year on house arrest after turning in suspicious petitions that the SOE said were thrown out. Mark Crump is charged with obtaining a false registration and two counts of election fraud after prosecutors said he voted as a felon when he wasn't eligible. Crump told the I-team he thought his voting rights had been restored through a constitutional amendment known as Amendment 4. Daniels co-defendant Devin King is set to appear in court next week for a pre-trial hearing. The state attorney attorney's office has said they don't believe Daniels and King were doing this for political reasons, rather just for personal financial gain. Live from the Duval County Courthouse and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station. And thank you.